Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. So, guys, this is just a um, a general message. I was doing um, my own reading for myself this morning, and I had some major download come in. Um, I pulled my orange oracle deck, and this was a reading for me, but they gave me some other messages that are meant for the collective, so I'm going to share them with you. On the unseen... I got devotion turned into the portal of your heart. Guys, I have, if you've been watching my channel for any sort of time, you have heard me talk about this symbol numerous times. It's a circle with a light in the middle of it. I've seen it in the sky with a ring around the sun. I've seen it in Mississippi when I was there. I've seen it um, um, here in California. And I don't know exactly what it means. It, I think it has something to do with the psyche with, with, uh, people's auras with the way we're all connected and they when I got this card this morning I looked at it and, and I kind of like connected I kind of meditated I meditated on it for a little bit and I got some downloads I'm going to share with you okay um, this is the unseen and this is the scene so I'm going to I'm going to read you all the cards and then I'm going to tell you what I got and it is a collective message or a community message, okay? Even though it was a reading for me, okay? Um, first of all, I want to say um, my readings in the past month have been kind of like, um, I, I just haven't been really like feeling it as intense as I had been. And what I have discovered is that I had a huge, because if you've been watching my readings, some of my readings, I got major energy dumps from other people's spirit guides passed on loved ones. And what it did was it psychically depleted me. And I did not realize that. Uh, just like y'all, I'm on my own personal journey and I'm in the process of learning how energy works for me. Okay. So what I had happened was it kind of short circuited me for a while there because, um, I realized they also wanted me to focus on my psychic mediumship abilities because, and the reason why is because in my readings, if you've been watching them for a bit, I have had messages from people's past on loved ones come on. I had been pulling some cards. I went back and looked at a reading where I had pulled some of um, the major arcana out of my soulful revolution deck. And I had three different messages come in in one message, uh, one reading that I did that was for three different people about past on loved ones that were trying to get messages to them going into the future um and that comes to comes to um is is coming up again um in a different way with this scene message and i'm going to explain it all to y'all okay first of all for unseen i got this inner temple with that symbol and then i got unbound and i talked about this recently about releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives guys i'm not the only one that is going through this and it's having to do with um they're telling me it's having to do with um, people going through, and this is, like I said, this is for me, but it's for all of you, too, that are going through this. Those of you that have already had your first and second spiritual awakenings and are going through another level, okay? And it all has to do with this Pluto in um, um, Aquarius energy um, between now and I think it's this coming uh, September, is it? before we slip back into Pluto into Capricorn for a while then we go into Pluto and Aquarius so a lot of people are having third and fourth you know because spiritual awakenings happen in levels I did not understand that again I'm on my own journey but so are you so if you're having third fourth fifth you know all of us are you, you can be anywhere from a beginning spiritual awakening to you know multi-leveled ones and everybody's going through this on your own journey in your own way and that's what this release soul patterns uh, contracts and past lives is because as your soul is your higher self is going through these awakenings and getting close and and integrating more with your conscious mind going into the 5d we are meant to do that we are meant to have regeneration we're meant to have all those things i've been talking about on my channel okay and then the other message they gave me on the scene part was keepers of the earth you're not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you and you see how we've got these levels guys these are going into these spiritual awakenings planetary things going on in the sky getting closer to source source being however you believe in god or even if if you just you just you're very earthbound or you're that's not the word i want to use even if you're feeling things when the planets shift into all these you know maybe when the astral full moons come around um 
um, the different moon phases, the different um, the the planet, different planets in the far reaching of our universe, going into different astrological signs like Pluto into Aquarius. All of these are bringing about shifts and causing all of us to go through these higher level spiritual awakenings, no matter what level you're at. Okay, and then they gave me trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you, guys? In this card, um, this is where they started giving me more of these downloads this morning, and I know I'm not the only one seeing this now first of all they're showing me spirit guides angels ancestors even um archangels um older energy star seed energy these are all of the the as the planets are shifting as we're going into the future um they were telling me something this morning about something coming on a planetary level maybe some of you are more in touch now with your star seed energy or like i was talking uh, here recently about um where um I, f I forget what card it was I pulled in this deck, but it's just opening up more stuff. It was talking about past, seeing um, glimpses of past lives that are meant to come to the forefront in your psyche to help you navigate the planetary shifts, okay? And going into this into the future with this Pluto um, in Aquarius energy, then going back into Capricorn, then coming in. And then once we go into that, what is this? It's, they said from sept see, September, we shift back into Capricorn, right? Pluto into Capricorn, September, October, I think November, and then we shift into Pluto going into Aquarius for the next 20 years. Guys, there's a lot of major stuff going to be happening. So they're saying that with this planetary, something's coming during that shift back into Capricorn and then into Aquarius. They were telling me something about meteor showers this morning. During those time frames, you see all these stars. I don't know how well y'all can see it. See how all these these um, planetary things are happening. They're talking about source, star seed energy, archangels, um, your higher self coming more into contact with your spirit guides, and more higher evolution and bringing more messages and people being more in the five D. I don't know how else to explain it better than that, but this is just some of the things that they're saying. Um, that they're talking about. They're also talking about, um, especially with me having just gone through this major um, where it seemed like everything suddenly just shut off. And I was like, what are y'all talking about? I, I couldn't discern the energy. Guys, if you're feeling, if any of you have been lately feeling that energy of maybe you felt like you were awake and things were coming, then all of a sudden, maybe some of you went through the same thing where you had this energetic overload and all of a sudden you just didn't hear anything. Or you felt little, you know, you were getting messages, but you couldn't make sense out of them. I cannot be the only one. So I'm sharing this with you to bring your attention to it because it feels like that's what they're telling me is that not just me, but other people are also going through that. So if you've been you know, going through your meditations, if you've been doing um, having psychic dreams come about, if you feel like you are starting um, to experience and meet other people that have that 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 um that um that spark and then maybe you had maybe also a psychic overload where you felt like so much came in that all of a sudden you didn't pick up anything because your body got depleted. So guys, I just want to remind you, make sure that you ground every day. Find a good grounding. I mean, I went through one on my channel the other day, but they're they're bringing that back up to me again. Um if any of you have gone through that, Eve at Everlong Mystic did a reading this morning that was talking about um, something coming in, different things coming in. And I listened to her message. And when I went and picked up my candle here, okay, all of a sudden, I just went into a, a um, I just, all of a sudden, I just kind of like sat down. I like I had to sit down and all my energy just kind of came to, a, I came to like a, a stable place. And all of a sudden, I just automatically felt the energy coming through the top of my head, the bright white light from the heavens grounding me. My um, Automatically, I started to feel the roots, my roots go down into the earth. I mean, it was like a, 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 um, an energetic shift. And I actually sent her a little message on her uh, for her reading, telling her how much she made me realize that th this morning that I had I was suffering from psychic overload. Because if y'all go back and look at some of my messages from like two months ago, 
I mean, I literally got the shakes. I got lightheaded. I thought I was going to pass out during a reading because I got such a huge overload of energy because I was picking up so much and I wasn't properly grounded. So if any of you have gone through that, make sure you're meditating and grounding and feeling and taking the time to feel that energy of you grounding and being balanced before you try to do any kind of um, a reading for yourself or if you're someone that's going through, you're trying to learn some new stuff, make sure you do the proper meditations and grounding exercises so you don't go through that psychic overload like I did. This morning when I picked up this candle and felt that automatic, it's like something had to open up inside my own psyche. I've been talking about that psyche, right, in the cards I did the other day about, you know, seeing all these different energies. And something kind of shifted inside on my, literally inside my brain, inside my own psychic energy that said, you're not doing this properly. And that's what they've been trying to tell me. So guys, I I just want to make this as a public message because they're talking about something coming in. They said something too about a meteor shower um, with the spirit guides and the angels and a source. I don't know if you can see it in this card or not, but they were just bringing it home to me that they are here to guide you and protect you, but make sure you're listening and doing whatever they're telling you to do. However, that comes in for you, rather it's through a psychic dream, because with some planetary things going on in the near future, you're going to need to be grounded. You're going to need to be taking the time to do those exercises properly. Okay. And they're here for you. Okay. So for me to get this message, I've, they were just telling me, make sure you tell them about this planetary shift coming in the near future with some more new new major downloads coming on. And they also gave me a message because, I, I, guys, I wrote it down as I was getting the messages this morning. Also, if you have any kind of, if you do tarot, if you do... Um, if you do any kind of runes or you do any, or you even have your own YouTube channel, okay, um, or maybe you do some just private readings for people or you're just going through um, these psychic opening ups through these spiritual awakenings. A lot of seers, they told me, are going to have these. And as some people may pick it up before and be up and, and have enough, have been doing it long enough that they know they automatically need to do more grounding. But they're saying that people that are going through the spiritual awakening that are having that are going to be seers of any type in the near future, where you're going through these new spiritual awakenings and you're becoming a seer, you're opening up to those psychic gifts. Make sure that you do the grounding and that you um because you're going to be getting more energies as the planets are starting to shift and there's some kind of a meteor shower coming up or some kind of something in the heavens. And I'm not sure what it is. I'm feeling like they're talking about some type of meteor shower. Okay. That's going to be bringing in new energies where older energies that have been just watching you from afar are going to be stepping up, talking to your spirit guides and giving you more downloads. And you need to be prepared for this huge energy that's coming. Okay. Take that how it resonates. They just told me to make this a public announcement, get it out there. And a lot of you too, keepers of the earth, a lot of you are going to be these earth energy healers. Some of those you, you uh, earth healers that are going to be connecting people with where the earth is healing. And your help, those of you that are hearing, they're saying those of you that are hearing the energies from the trees, the ground, the, um, the wind, maybe hearing the messages on the wind, you're going to be going through a major shift here really soon. And your spirit guides and angels are going to be there for you. You see this, see, they're saying spirit guides, they're saying your angels, it's all going to be, you know, your chakras, you're, you're going to be more connected. Okay. Those of you that feel like you're earth healers, God, guys, my ears are just ringing, ringing, ringing right now. Um, I'm trying to get the messages in clear for you, but just be aware that between now and they're saying September, more major energies coming in and be prepared. Some of you are getting the downloads and you're not doing the proper grounding sequences that you need to do. Maybe you're not doing the mental exercises you need to do. So just be aware of that. OK. Um, and I, I feel like they're just really they're talking about the seers here. And then they're talking about those of you that are earth healers um, that talk to the trees that talk to them. Um, Maybe some of you live near forests. Uh, maybe some of you are they're, talk, they're saying something about earth energies that I can't quite pull in. But you know who you are. 
They're saying, you know who you are and some major energy with some kind of guys. I don't know what's coming up between this is what, going into March. So March, April, May, June, July, August, September, in the next six months, something in some kind of meteor showers or something planetary else is going to be something that's, what are they saying? Something about Uranus or Uranus, however you want to pronounce the word, something, something about Uranus. They just said, um, in meteor showers where a new shift is going to open up. Guys, I'm not an astrologer, but that's that's just what I just heard. Something in the heavens that's going to bring some kind of other energy in. An older ancient energy. Some of you are feeling this, they're saying. Something to do with fate and destiny because they're, they're now saying the three norns. Because there's three... Some kind of feminine energy. And you know, guys, all of us have all of it in us. And then they're pointing out the eye. These almost look like eyes to me. So maybe third eyes opening up even more. And you need to be grounded for this. And they're saying showering down on the planets. Something to do with earth energy. Guys, take that how it resonates. Something to do with earth healers. Something big in the next six months. Where some of you who have been your energies have been slowly opening up it's going to come in with a boom something with the way that the that things are shifting and changing in the heavens and on the earth in a bigger connection between source god however you want god energy that's faded and destined for some of the earth healers something about angels and spirit guides Showing up more for you, coming closer, the veil being thinner and even thinner than it has been before. And a lot of more shifted, no, bigger connection between the third eye, the higher self, the conscious mind. More opening up. More coming in on guys, I'm kind of getting lightheaded. Um, and I just grounded myself. Some kind of big shift, guys, right before the moon, right before, right before Pluto goes back into Capricorn, there's going to be another major shift of some kind. Guys, take it how it resonates. If some of you are feeling that niggling energy, that's what they're saying. And it's going to be something, some kind of big, huge spark happens right before we shift back into Capricorn. That then when we go into Capricorn, some of you may feel kind of lost and not knowing what's going on. So they're saying be prepared for that. Guys, this is, this is again, a public uh, announcement they wanted me to make this morning. Thank you to Eve at Everlong Mystic for opening that channel back up for me. Um to bring this message in they've been just waiting for and they're saying divine timing they're saying don't forget divine timing guys some of you if you've been waiting for something to happen it's happening in divine timing don't forget about divine timing they're saying it, there's going to be just like i said there's it, within the next six months there's going to be a big huge shift for the the seers the earth healers those that are picking up on their angel energy and their spirit guides, because they showed me the other day a lady in a yellow dress, like a young Audrey Hepburn. They're saying that message is meant for more of you, where um, your passed on loved ones and your spirit guides are going to be closer to you than ever before. Some of you, again, are going to be, you're going to think you're having auditory hallucinations, but they're not. It's your spirit guides and your angels and talking to you it, and your ancestors or passed on loved ones. I just saw a flock of birds. Somebody said something about a flock of birds the other day. Cindy and Awakening to Spirit. Messenger birds. More messages are going to be coming in even stronger. Guys are saying, make sure you journal every day and write things down. I know I've said this before, but that's what they keep pounding into me. And I am actually starting to, um, I'm actually starting to do more journaling than I've been doing before. 
I'm getting more structured. Instead of just having the messages come in. Guys, my whole head is ringing. <sighs> Hang on. It feels like my whole body. Guys, right now it feels like my whole body is vibrating. They're saying this is very, very important. Some of you, I've already said that. They're saying take it how it resonates. Um, let me grab this. Where is that? It's, guys, hang on. I'm going to pull out my Sofa Revolution, my major arcana. Um, is there something that I need to say here? Is there something you want me to say here? <clears throat> I just saw uh, Justice Jumping Timelines, Archangel Michael. Um, Faded Destin. Um, um, I knew she was going to come up. Yeah, so they're talking about the next six months. That feminine energy. God source, more balanced. I'm trying to figure out what they're trying to tell me here, guys. Um, the star, more connected to just more shifts, just more energy coming in. Something about the stars, guys. They're just saying something about the heavens. Um, they're saying in the next six months, some of you are going to literally feel like you've just fallen off a cliff because something in your third eye is just going to open up really huge. And they're watching this all happen, but they are there to protect you. See how they're, these, they're like the watchers? Something about the... The watchers, they're watching you. They're protecting you. Reaching for the stars. More people getting connected. It, it feels like they're saying that there's going to be more of more people are going to be hearing the messages from their from their starseed energy or from their this other energy coming in. Guys, I, I can't quite pull it in. I, I think it has something to do with your third eye and the planet planet is something going on in the skies. And there's the bricks. Um, so this morning, Eve was talking about bricks. And I thought of this card. Guys, it, something about bricks. Guys, go check out Eve at Everlong Mystic, her Virgo message this morning. She's talking something about bricks. And I thought of this card when she was talking about it. Here's that card. It's the sun for success in psychic energy. I just think some of you are just going to be picking up some messages and it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Okay, and it's something to do with this older energy, connecting to this older energy and something to do with a meteor shower. Guys, take that how it resonates. I can't quite pull it in, but, uh, and then we got the hangman right there. Guys, it's going to feel like everything for some of you has come to a screeching halt and you're waiting, 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 waiting. And then something in the skies is going to open up and all this energy is going to come streaming through your third eye. That has to do with something to do with a meteor shower. Guys, take that how it resonates. I don't know how else to pull that energy in. They're just saying that it, it's 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 coming along soon. Something about a, a sixth sense. Something planetary. 
a major major downloads coming in for a whole bunch of people at one time. Take it how it resonates, guys. But anyway, that's what I have this morning. This was my own personal message, and they said it was a community message. And it has to some of it has to do with those past lives and and things opening up your third eye. Um, guys, if some of you have been feeling some kind of doubt or um, some kind of that sense of not quite knowing what you're waiting for and feeling like everything's been suddenly shut off within the next couple of months, major downloads are coming. Take that how it resonates. Thank you, Eve at Everlong Mystic. Um, I sure appreciate you, you know, opening up this door to this message coming in that's meant for the earth healers and 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 the seers. Um, and that's what I've got this morning, guys. Um, I am going to be doing an air sign reading for y'all, for the Libra, Aquarius, and um, Gemini. Um, tomorrow, I will be doing that. I'm off tomorrow. I'm going to be probably doing the air and the fire and the water tomorrow. Um, all right, guys. I hope this helps somebody. If you've been feeling like you're overloaded or just like the messages weren't coming, um, if it just feels like the, a huge portal opened up this morning that is meant to be for some of you that maybe are going through the same thing I've been going through. All right, guys, Lana Scott Lighthouse, be a light in the darkness, guys. It's coming. Whatever it is, it's coming and it's huge. Love to all my peeps. <laughs>